Of course, 22 years at Independence, 205 wins, two state championship appearances, nine district titles. And, of course, LSU is sixth in the new BCS, the first one poll released this week after beating South Carolina 23-21. And they play at Texas A&M Saturday morning. That's right, Saturday morning. He loves it. Not really. Please welcome Charlie Baglio. Charlie. Thank you, Ken. Uh... Well, to say the least, all LSU fans today feel like uh, this young boy who went to confession expecting the worst and got this. Uh, well, he went, Father Five sinned. Uh, he's a high school boy. He said, I've been uh, having relations with this girl. And the priest said, uh, is that you, Joey? He said, yes, Father. He said, well, he said, in order to get atonement for your sins, you've got to tell me who the young lady who the girl is he said uh, and I can't do that he said I just can't do that father and he said well was it Lucy Luciano and he said no it wasn't her he said but I just I don't feel comfortable he said was it Sarah Pagano he said father I, I, I can't tell you That's, it wasn't her so the priest went on to name three other names and finally the he figured out the boy wasn't going to tell him so when he left uh, right before leaving the confessional he said now for your penance he said, uh, you cannot be an altar boy for four months. So the boy leaves the confession. He's got his buddy waiting for him. He said, man, he said, how'd you come out? He said, what'd you get? Well, I said, I got a four-month vacation and five new leads. So, <laughs> so that's kind of how the LSU fans feel today. <laughs> a review of the game. Uh... Probably the biggest, uh, the biggest thing that nobody could anticipate in that football game was the way the offensive line played. You know, uh, South Carolina was uh, very, very good on defense. Uh, the week before, they were tremendous against a, 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 a good Georgia team. And our offensive line uh, and our running backs rushed for over 250 yards against that that defense and it, it uh, the game wasn't really as close should have been as close as the score came out uh, the young running backs uh, did a, a tremendous job it looks like we got a new running back that is uh, <laughs> Jeremy Hill who's uh, stepped up and uh, I didn't realize he was as fast as he was when he took off on that 30 or 30 yard run but he looked mighty quick to me defensively if any of you have uh, have looked at the uh, the top seven BCS teams. They all have one thing in common, and that's good defense. And LSU is right there with them. I mean, you know, you give that was by far the, our biggest challenge defensively when you when you got a kid like Marcus Lattimore and that quarterback they had is really really good. And uh, we made them look average in that game. I think they had 35 yards rushing and a total of 211 yards on offense. So uh, Coach John Chavis just keeps plugging new people in and still coming out with the same results. So uh, next week's challenge is going to be a little bit different. As Ken said, we play at 11 a.m. in the morning. Uh, our hotel is uh, an hour away from where we play. So that means pregame meal will have to be at 7 a.m., that means you got to get them up at 6.30 or so and uh, then bus them over to get to the game site by 9. So it's going to be a little bit different. And uh, actually, I think Coach Miles is even looking to maybe waking them up a little, a little early a couple of days this week to get them used to that because it, it's, it's a very different uh, situation. Besides that fact, they have probably uh, a guy in a by, by the name of Johnny Manziel, who is probably in, in Heisman Talks now for what he's done the last two weeks. Uh, he's a tremendously gifted runner and thrower. And uh, if any of you stayed up the other night and watched the end of that game, it was really phenomenal what both of those quarterbacks and that receiver from Louisiana Tech did. But uh, this is going to be a big challenge for Coach Chavis because of the, the kid's ability to run the ball, and he can also throw it. So we have our hands full, and Texas A&M is riding high, and you know what kind of place that is to play in. I mean, it's a tough, 
tough venue. I just hope they hadn't uh, waken up at, at 11 o'clock in the morning to get it going too much. You know, it may be in our benefit a little bit. But any, any questions about our last week's game or what we got coming up? Yes, sir. Coach Miles doesn't seem like he has much confidence in Mettenberg, and possibly justifiably so. I don't think he can continue to win close games against these good competition with with the conservative play calling he does by the goal line. Do you feel like that, or is any? Do you, do you see any progression? How do you feel? Well, like that? I, I, think, I think we've had our, our, our problems in the red zone. There's no question about that, uh, and. Uh, I don't know if it's a combination of, uh, you know, the other night, uh, uh, Mettenberger did not throw the ball real well, especially a couple of times he had people wide open and didn't get it to him. It was real, real, uh, it should have been two more touchdowns, you know, and I agree with you. Uh, but he's the best one at that position that we got, so he will continue to play. Uh, and uh, I think he'll continue to get better. I, I, that's what I feel. Anywhere close? Oh, Rivers is close. Yeah, Rivers is close. But this, but you know, uh, to make a change right now, you're number six in the BCS. You make a change just uh, without letting this kid have a chance. Uh, I, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Maybe a couple of series during the game, see if he can get the flow. And what what about possibly? I'm thinking about what about possibly Russell Shepard in, in the uh, what's it wild, Wildcat. I mean, he see. I mean, is he that far in the doghouse? He seems like when he touches the ball, he does good things, and he has for three or four years, but he never gets touches. What? Well, you know, Russell Shepard in high school was a, a quarterback. Uh, Coach Miles is not going to change his offense, you know, to put it in a wildcat. I mean, that's just not him. Uh, he's got his philosophy, and that's what he's going to do. Uh, and Russell Shepard was a, a really a good quarterback in high school because he ran the ball a lot. Uh, his throwing did not throw the ball that that much in high school. But he's a running quarterback, is what he was. Tried to move him to receiver, and uh, that hadn't worked out as well as we thought. He's, you know, it was going to work out, but that's just what it's what we got with that. You know, he's not going to change his offense. Anybody else? I appreciate it, Coach Gailey. My wife is waiting on me, so I won't be able to listen. <laughs>